Hi, my name is Siobhan Ellis, I'm a Product Manager, and today I'm going to talk to you about orchestration and a little bit about reporting and analytics and how Net Backup and Aptar fit into the modern data center. So, on here on the right hand side, we actually have the Net Backup Master Server with the Net Backup API version 2, the Net Backup CLI, and above here we have Net Backup Self Service and also the Net Backup Self Service API. You would use Net Backup Self Service in an environment where you want to completely remove the customers away from any kind of complication of the, uh, the backend infrastructure. First of all, to enable us to do that, we have the GUI. And what that does with NSS enables the users to be able to see the assets that they've been given access to via NetBackup self-service. It enables them to do things like decide they want to back up a machine, what protection level they want it to get, whether they want to do a restore or even a single file restore. And this is capable with uh, any version of NetBackup from 8.0 through to 8.2. But because it's the modern world, well, we have to have a mobile phone interface. And this works with iOS and with Android. And again, it talks to the NSS API we're now starting to get into things like DevOps. So we have got a Slack interface as well. So this means that you can use Slack and you can connect into NSS and again, via the NSS API, NSS, and then into the master server, you can actually change anything that you're allowed to see uh, through this infrastructure. This is part of DevOps and also ChatOps, which is a new feature that we're starting to see out in the market space. And to help that, we've also added in Microsoft Teams as well. And again, this talks via the NSS API. And you've got exactly the same functionality with all of these tools right across the board. We've all now start, also now started adding in orchestration capabilities. And we have an vRealize interface. Again, via NSS API, and this is available from NetBackup 8.0 and onwards. But new with 8.2, we have now actually added it in so that it talks to the API and it actually will also work with NetBackup 8.1.2. This enables you to be able to create templates inside vRealize so that the virtual machine administrator can actually decide to provision a machine and at the same time it gets a protection level or you, they can decide not to give it a protection level at all and again you can do restores etc all via vRealize. With 8.2 which is really new we're adding in an interface into ServiceNow and this only works with 8.2 and again it actually uses the API here so again, it gives you the similar kinds of capabilities. Via ServiceNow, you can decide that you want to back up a machine, uh, you don't want to back up a machine, you want to change the protection level, or you actually want to do a restore. If we add this in with Aptar, which is also talking to Net Backup, but isn't just limited to Net Backup, this now communicates in with ServiceNow as well. And this is a two-way connection, so as the infrastructure databases change for these particular products, they keep each other up to date. So Aptar can provide information into the ServiceNow CMDB or vice versa. So an example of what could happen here is that Net Backup actually has some kind of a problem. It tells Aptar, Aptar then runs its rules against that and it decides on whether it is actually gonna send a ticket up to ServiceNow. The ticket is received inside ServiceNow and potentially you can be uh, sent back to Aptar again to get some more information. You may then decide you want to do something about it. And again, inside the ServiceNow user interface, you can then use that connection into Net Backup via the API to take an action upon that particular problem. And this is how we can actually use orchestration, reporting and analytics to actually help Net Backup work extremely well in the modern data center.